What's up? Josh here. It's time. Out of the water with 10K, episode number one. Before I jump right in, uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what we're doing. So it's off season for open water and I'm just kind of preparing for when that ice melts and we can get back at it. I talked about it in a post a couple days ago about uh, um, all the stuff that I've learned from other guys over the past couple years and uh, just the knowledge that I've gained and um, how willing they've been to help me become a better angler. So I just want to, through this little series, kind of uh, share some of them tips and tricks and uh, hopefully help someone else gain some of that knowledge. And, um, you know, I'm going to do some some basic stuff, you know, just some basic knot tying stuff like that because I know we do got some younger guys following the page, but um, we will do some more technical stuff and then uh, I'll even get into some of the stuff that I've learned on my own, like video in the... Um, fishing and how I do that and then uh, some new stuff like I talked about we're gonna be rigging my boat and I've never done that before so that'll all be new and uh, I'm gonna just uh, have the camera along for all of it and show you guys what we're doing and how we're doing it and I was gonna start with uh, something pretty basic like tying a braided knot or something like that but then I figured it'd be kind of lame for the first episode so I'm gonna do something a little more technical a tip that I learned from a bass guy and I'm trying to kind of transition that into some walleye stuff. And we're going to do it with the walleye guy's favorite lure, the jig wrap. And uh, I think you guys will like it. Um, I think it's going to be helpful. And I'll just show you what it is. And then uh, we'll get into showing you how to do it. So what you're going to need is obviously your pliers. We're going to need some braid, like, uh, I don't know. 18 inches, maybe two feet. However much you want, really. However, however much you can do it with. This is like 80 pound. And then um, for me, it's gonna be a Gamagatsu hook, treble hook. And then small screwdriver, something round with a round tip on it like this, like a little bobber. And then your scissors or clippers, whatever you got. Now with jig wraps, I've caught a lot of fish but I've also lost a lot of fish. And it seems like the fish that I lose tend to be close to the boat and on their last big turn. Like when you get them up towards the boat and they start coming to the top and then they make one hard turn and then jig pops out. So I notice also that that tends to be when they don't really have it fully in their mouth, like they're just hooked by the treble hook. So that's kind of what made me think about this tip that I seen from a bass guy. If you look at uh, a jig wrap, when the treble hook's on there, and you turn it, it only turns like a quarter turn. So, like what these bass guys are explaining is that when they got just this hook in them, and they're coming up, and they turn, and this locks up, they're able to have a ton more pressure on that hook and pop it out. And I think that's what happens. So. There's a way to fix that, and I'm gonna show you guys what that is right now. All right, so first thing you gotta do is get this treble hook off. So I'm gonna take this little screwdriver, just stick it in here like this, get it in the middle, and then twist just enough to make a big enough gap to get that hook off. Kinda like that, if you can see that. So, got the hook off. Immediately after I get that off, I'm going to take this pliers and I'm going to close it back up. What I want to do is kind of squeeze hard and twist just a little bit to get it tight enough so there's no gap in here. So squeeze a little twist. It should look something like this so that this is touching and it's nice and tight so nothing can get through there being a ring. So this is a soft ring, that's what we're doing. And after we do that, I'm going to take your braid, double it up, just like that. Take the looped end, we're going to put it through our new hook. And I want the hook so that when it's hanging on here, so for this one it would be this way, these two are back. So then, Take the line, put it through the hook, 
put it through the jig wrap like that. Put those two come together. I want to pull this a little bit. Then I'm going to take the loop bend, open it up. And then I'm going to make another loop. Just put my fingers through, go like that. I got another loop here. Now I'm going to take my tag ends. Put them through that loop. Now here's where you want to have whatever you have that's round. So for me, I got the spobber. It can be a screwdriver or however big you want the ring to be is how big you want this. So stick this in here in this bottom loop. Pull this tight. Really tight. After I do that, I'm take these, pull them tight. Then we do a double overhand. Take two tag ends, cross them, just tie your shoes once, and through again. Pull it super tight. Once. Two twice. Pull it super tight. After I got that nice and tight, I can pull this out. And I can take my scissors. these tag ends off. So here you go. Got the soft spit thing on there. Now look at it. I take this hook, twist it a bunch of times. You can cut these tag ends shorter if you want, but it really doesn't matter. It's not going to affect anything. But so now when you get a walleye and you got them hooking just the treble and they come up and they make that turn and dive, it ain't going to lock up. If anything, it's going to turn with them and it'll bury into them a little more. And I think sometimes it's just because, you know, we, when we catch them on jig wraps, most of the time it's, uh, you don't even, it, it catches you by surprise. So you don't really get to set the hook in very good. So it works well. And... The Gamagatsu hook, a lot sharper hook, should be better. Um, keep in mind, like I was talking about with that bobber and whatever size you want this ring to be, if you want it to you know, be closer, you can make that ring shorter. You're just going to get less twists for the smaller it is. So I think this is okay. It, it, it hangs the hook maybe an eighth inch lower than it was naturally, but I, if anything, I think that will help. But... To each their own maybe it won't maybe it will it's just something that i'm going to try and uh see what you guys think hopefully it's something that works out and can help us catch fish that's a wrap thanks for watching guys i'll be back next week with another video Bye.